OpenAI just released a game changer. The GPT store will open at the end of this month and it's the biggest opportunity I think to make money online right now. It's like being back in 2008 when Apple opened their own app store but the difference is is that no coding is needed to build your own AI app now thanks to this big announcement in the OpenAI developer day yesterday. English is the new coding language and that's really how simple it is now to build uh, your AI bots and maybe even build your empire of bots. So this is a really exciting announcement. So in this video, I want to take you through, you know, really what is this opportunity and how you can actually go ahead and build these apps right now. Unfortunately, I don't have access to it right now, but there are some great examples online. And I'll also show you how you can get started with this, building your own apps inside the OpenAI Playground so we can be ready for when the OpenAI GPT store opens at the end of this month. Okay, so what is this all about? Well, yesterday OpenAI had their developer day and there was a lot of amazing announcements for developers, but for non-technical people like me, the biggest update was related to ChatGPT and the revenue sharing model that they're going to be opening up for their GPT store. Now, as I mentioned, this is extremely exciting because it's similar to the App Store when it opened in 2008. It was an absolute bonanza for people who got in early. Now, the difference this time is you don't need to be technical to participate in this revenue sharing option. You can build your own custom a GPT app in minutes. And that's actually what, that's what Sam Altman did on stage at the developer conference yesterday. He created a his own GPT app that helps startup founders, you know, get advice for building their business. So in this example, he was just kind of making it as a free one. But this is, could be something that you could put into the GPT store, or you could maybe put this behind your own private paywall and then give it people to actually go ahead and use. So this is an incredible opportunity because it allows people like me to actually ride the AI wave. And this is why I'm really doing this YouTube channel, um, because the AI wave is here and are you going to ride it or just watch it go by? I want to ride it. I want to have fun with it and uh, hopefully make some money with it as well. So what I've actually done is I've put together a new com community called ChatGPT Insiders. I'll put the link in the description. It's free for now, but my might turn it into a paid community because I think there's such an opportunity here to actually you know, have a great ride with this AI stuff. Um, but I need people to help me figure this out. And I think you probably do too. So that's why I'm putting together a community and that'll be in the description below if you want to check it out. So let's actually get in and start having a, a better understanding of what these custom GPTs are and how you actually go ahead and make them. Okay, so we know there's going to be a revenue sharing model. And here's an example of what the uh, chat GPT store will look like or the GPT store. This is a screenshot from the presentation yesterday. And you can see that essentially it's going to just be like the Apple App Store where you have your GPTs there. So in the blog post, they gave more examples of the types of GPTs that you could create. And it could be like a writing coach, a tech advisor, a laundry buddy. Ask me anything about stains. That's pretty interesting. Um, sticker whiz, turn your wildest dreams into dry cut stickers. That's an interesting one. A negotiator, you know, marriage counselor, financial advisor, any type of coach or mentor that you could think of is the type of um, GPT that you could make even an astrologer, 
basically anything that you, you can use. And really, this is the idea that you can create these custom versions of ChatGPT, but you create them for a specific purpose. And that's why they're called GPTs. Now, if you've been using ChatGPT, you'll know that there is custom instructions here, which have been good. But the problem is every every time you want to change the role, you have to copy and paste in new custom instructions. So this has been a real pain point for people. So for example, sometimes when I'm using ChatGPT, I just want to learn something. So I ask it to give me you know, the outputs in bullet points. But other times I want to act more like a copywriter. And so I need to paste in new custom instructions. Or if I want some financial advice, I have to get it to to be like a financial advisor. So all of this copying and pasting of custom instructions was a bit ridiculous, but that's what people were doing. But not anymore. You can create these new custom versions um, using this new builder. So the beautiful thing about this is anybody can build their own uh, GPT. No coding is required. So how do you get access to this? Well, I've tried and uh, I don't have it yet. It said the features rolling out over the coming days. In the official announcement, though, in the blog post, they did say it was going to be released yesterday. So I'm not sure what the holdup is. I even contacted or tweeted at the head of developer relations asking for a timeline for the rollout, but didn't get any response yet. But the cool thing is that you can actually start playing around with this right now inside of OpenAI Playground. Now, if you're not sure what OpenAI Playground is, or it's basically how developers can play around with the OpenAI API. So to get access to it, you just um, click into their website and then you want to go to API. And you can get started here. You'll just create your account or log in. And then once inside here, we can go up to uh, assistance. And here we'll be able to create our own assistant. Now to start using this, you might need to put a credit card on file. I've just actually checked into the usage stats. It seems like I still have credits here. So you get $18 of credits so you can play around with this. And it's only going to cost you a couple of cents to start playing around with this or a couple of credits. OK, so let's actually now try and go ahead and create our own GPT app uh, using the Assistant Builder here inside of the OpenAI platform. So let's just click on Create. I'll give it the name Fitness GPT. So for the instructions here, I'll say you're a fitness coach for entrepreneurs and busy professionals. You help people cut through all the usual fitness nonsense and promote a scientific approach to help them become the best versions of themselves. Next, we can select our model. Now down here, there are a couple of different tools that we can add to our assistance. So there are functions here, which is really allowing your app to access external APIs. So I don't think that's for us at the moment. Code interpreter enables your assistant to run and write code. So maybe we can skip that as well, but you could just enable that. And retrieval is probably the most interesting one is uh, once a file is uploaded, the assistant can actually get the information from this. So if we wanted to train our AI assistant on a specific knowledge base, we could upload just the files there and um, that would then help train our AI assistant to give better responses. So let's go ahead and uh, save this. And let's give this a try now. So if we go up into playground here, we can see that at the top, we've got the assistant that I created. So let's enter a message and see how it does. So I'll ask it just a simple question. I want to lose weight. What can I do? And now I get my response. Um, losing weight fundamentally comes down to creating a caloric deficit. So it seems to be following the instructions that I said to take this assi uh, scientific approach and assess your current status, you know, calculate your calorie needs, cal create a calorie deficit. This is really good advice because it's scientific and it's step by step.
Let's ask one more question. I'll ask is creatine good, which is a supplement generally used um, by, for strength training. So again, we're getting very detailed scientific responses. Creatine is one of the most researched and widely used sub supplements. And here's all the benefits of it. And here's the safety concerns and here's how to take it. And even the, the dough, you know, the grams that you should be taking. So this is incredibly useful. So this is a very basic demonstration of the type of GPT or AI app that you could build. There's all sorts of possibilities integrating DALI 3 and ChatGPT Vision and all of the other uh, functions that it has. But I think this is a great first look at it. And I'm really excited to get into this more. So subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And of course, the link to the community is in the description below as well. If you'd like to try that out, give this video a like as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.